You might be just like Jeffrey. He doesn't realize what he's done wrong. Why did his life get so bad? Jeffrey and you might not realize that your ego is your biggest enemy. The friend that you've tried to get onto self-improvement is just like Jeffrey. You try to get him to hit a gym workout with you and straight away something clicks in his mind and he says, I don't need to. The Jeffreys of the world can't see their areas of improvement. And you know what's interesting? You are at least a partial Jeffrey. Huh? There is a certain percent inside of you that can't see your area of improvement. Adonis. Adonis lives by his principles. Discipline, humility, presence, gratitude, and leadership. Humility is the skill of sacrificing your ego for your continued growth. You see Adonis and you see the perfect man. You would love to be him. You would love to look like him. And yet Adonis does something strange. He walks towards the mirror, he looks at himself, and he doesn't see the leader. He doesn't see the best man. He sees a man who has a long way to go. That mindset full of humility is why he constantly keeps growing. You wanna know my biggest weakness? Bench press. You wanna know my second biggest weakness? My ego. My ego is fucking huge. It's humongous, like my pee pee. The fact that I keep making these jokes tells you how big my ego is. Just like my pee pee. <laughs> Imagine we're going out to some kind of social event. Guess what kind of guy I am. We will get there and I will try to get as much validation and attention as possible. Within a few hours, my shirt will be off. I'll be subtly flexing. I'll find some kind of reason to take my shirt off. Why? Why does our ego make us act in quite cringy ways? Mostly for the validation of others. Imagine that I'm five years into weightlifting. Weightlifting and building my physique is the thing that's really, really changed my life. And five years in, I've built a pretty good physique. And then I start getting these thoughts that, oh yeah, that's about as much muscle as I can build. I'm, I'm massive. So I don't have to work as hard anymore. If I take an extra day off the gym, it won't do anything. If I eat that junk food, it won't even do anything. What do you think happened? Five years in, I built a lean, aesthetic physique. And over one year of binge eating, smoking weed and getting the munchies every single, bro, every single day I used to wake up, literally smoke from a fucking pipe, like a crack pipe, bro. I'm not even taking the piss. I would wake up, smoke and start eating snacks all day because, you know, I've already built the physique and like it doesn't even matter anymore. Like I'm immune to the, the consequences of junk food. And within a year, I start getting a little bit fatter and fatter and fatter. So how do you overcome your ego? You level up your humility skill. Humility sounds weird. It sounds kind of like humiliation and we don't want to get humiliated. We don't want to seem like less. Humility is seeing better in other people. We're not putting ourselves down. We're not saying that, you know, we're stupid, stupid or anything. You still value and respect yourself. You just begin to value and respect everyone else around you. You want to know how I practically implemented this? I realized just how much my team of editors led to this growth of this YouTube channel. For a long time, I thought it was just me. And you know, I was the one in the spotlight that the channel name is Hamza. So yes, I'm the YouTuber. I'm the successful one. But I would not be here today if it wasn't for them making all these little fucking Spurgy memes behind me so you continue watching the videos. And so I started to credit them more and more. And I started to give them more praises. I would call them saying like, yo, bro, the video that you just edited was sick. Some people on YouTube have made videos about me saying like, you know, my channel's good and everything. And I comment saying, oh, thank you so much. My team is really good. And then my editors began to notice that and they would thank me like, oh yeah, thank you for saying that. Our relationships, our team is just so much stronger because I had the humility to see their strengths. And that feels abnormal for me because fuck those guys. I'm the, I'm the one in the spotlight. Please everyone give me attention. Give me validation. Why? We can rise up together, figure out your weak points, induce humility in yourself and ask yourself, what if I'm wrong? This may be the most important practice of your self-improvement. Share this video with an egotistical Jeffrey friend. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.